The city tells me the paid parking signs on Church Avenue in Ohio City weren't supposed to go up for another four weeks, but they were accidentally put up early and they were supposed to be down by now. But we came out here and clearly they're still up. Now I spoke with a lot of people who live and work here who are angry, especially because they didn't get any warning. I literally showed up for work one day and realized I couldn't park without paying in order to work at my job. Andrea Whaley is a bartender at the Lounge at City Goods on Church Avenue in Ohio City. She's not only upset that she wasn't notified. It, it feels like a grab to try to wring as much money out of people as possible in a financial state. A lot of people don't have a whole lot of excess funds and adding extra money for them to have to pay to enjoy a day out just seems really counterintuitive to the mission of bringing people into Cleveland. The city tells me the signs on Church Avenue should be down by the end of the week and you won't be fined if you don't pay. The first round of paid parking signs will go up on Lorraine and West 25th in two weeks. The best way we can ensure that, that there is parking available and it's conveniently located where people want to go is to uh, add a charge for that parking. So when people are there, they're paying for the time they're using. It will eventually affect other busy streets like Detroit Avenue, where DeWitt Collins works at Saucy Brew Works. You add on pavement parker and you work here, so that's going to be a problem. If there aren't already meters, you'll pay via your smartphone. You can park for up to two hours and it costs 50 cents per hour plus a credit card fee. You can also call or text to pay. It's a little ridiculous. Evan Zorn lives on Detroit Avenue and depends on street parking. It's really unfortunate, you know, we pay a lot of a lot for rent here, so and it's already really hard to find parking spots. Will the city consider giving residential permits for people who live in Ohio City? The city does have a residential permit parking pro program already in our in our codified ordinances. It's a little clunky, it's difficult to use, and so that's a, the next thing we want to attempt to modernize, and we're already taking the steps to do that. Real estate developer Dan Whalen thinks paid parking will be a good thing for local businesses. The areas that they're talking about expanding the program uh, really are meant to keep people moving. To, in order to encourage that and, and not have cars parked for hours on end, uh, taking up space, I think, I think it's a good move. The city says once the signs go up, there will be a two-week grace period where people will receive warnings instead of fines. Now, all of the paid parking signs should be up here in Ohio City within the next six weeks. The city tells me there are also plans to expand this to Detroit Shoreway and University Circle. But there's no timeline yet on when that will happen. Reporting in Ohio City, I'm Kelly Kennedy, 19 News.